What's up, everybody? So uh, this is going to be a very quick video. It's uh, basically going to be showing you how you can quantize audio according to like a swing grid or any kind of quantize uh, that you want for audio rather than for MIDI. So for MIDI, it's really easy. You just come and uh, to a MIDI track. You, I don't know if I have any MIDI tracks because I much prefer working in audio. But for example, it's very easy. I'm, I'm clicking on a uh, MIDI region and come in here, select the values that I want. I could hit Command All. And then over here, I could just hit Quantize Notes according to whatever I want to quantize them to. Okay. But in audio, there's not the exact same thing. Um, but I'm going to show you how you could do the exact same thing. And so up here, I have a bass that's just an audio. It's just a sample I loaded into the session. And so let me just play it back for you really quick. Okay. Now you can get rid of those clicks at the end by just highlighting up here, coming up to the upper left, and then doing a fade out maybe of like 10 milliseconds. But it's really not that big of a deal. Then, um, but to quantize, just highlight them. You're going to come over to the upper right hand corner and you're going to click on uh, the event list here and here you'll see quantize and so uh, just quantize it according to the way that you want i'm going to go to 16 uh, swing c and then it as you can see it just quantized it now obviously um, now we have overlapping regions but i'm just going to select these uh, regions here and i'm going to move them back and now we don't have uh, overlapping regions and that's literally it that easy And now uh, that's how you quantize audio. But that's it, guys. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you can find me on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash Michael Pitluck. Uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.